you believe that you've been injured by a vaccine, you may be able to pursue compensation in a program called the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. Now, this is a government-funded program run through the U.S. Court of Federal Claims. And the basic idea is that if you can prove that your injury or condition was the result of a vaccine, then you'd be entitled to compensation in the form of out-of-pocket medical expenses, lost wages or earnings, and pain and suffering damages. Now, there are some basic requirements uh, in order to file a petition in this program. Number one, uh, you had to have received the vaccine in the United States. Now, there are a couple of exceptions to this if you're stationed abroad um, or if you receive a, a U.S. manufactured vaccine abroad and return to the United States within a certain time. But uh, for most people, uh, they will be, have received the vaccine in the United States. Now, the vaccine that you received has to be on the list of covered vaccines in this program because not all vaccines are covered. Um, you know, the most common vaccines that uh, we see are the flu, tetanus, pneumonia uh, vaccines. Some of the vaccines that currently aren't covered in the program include uh, COVID-19 vaccines for the time being, um, some shingles vaccines and rabies vaccines. Now, uh, there's another thing called the severity requirement. Um, so if the symptoms of your vaccine injury do not persist for at least six months, then uh, you're not eligible to file in the program unless the injury required a surgical procedure and hospitalization. So if you meet either of those two requirements, then uh, you're good to go. If this injury or condition was more of a temporary side effect, um, didn't require much treatment, and uh, there's no residual effects or lasting or permanent um, symptoms, then unfortunately you're not gonna be eligible to file a petition. Now, overarching all of this is the statute of limitations. So if you received your vaccine uh, and your injury or condition, the, the symptoms of that injury or condition started more than three years ago, then you're gonna be barred from filing a petition. There's a three-year statute of limitations. So that's usually the first question we ask is, is when you received your vaccine. So if you meet these basic requirements and you wanna learn more about your options in the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program, I'd invite you to contact us. You can call us at 312-578-9501. We'd be happy to do a consultation, talk to you about your options. Um, if you want just more information about this program, the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program itself. Um, we did publish a book about this, and you can get a free copy of that book by texting VICP to 312-847-2428.